river's flooding, it's full of juvenile salmon, coho and chinook and all the different species, and they need to get out of that flood water. They would come up the stream channel to my right, and they would hit the floodgate and stop. Replacing culverts that block fish is one of the most effective ways to expand the amount of habitat available. The vast majority of the work that we propose to do is voluntary, and we can't do that work without landowners like the apples that say, okay, we'll work with you, let's find some solutions that help salmon, but also help the farmer. Farmers in general, I would say, we want to better the environment. The floodgate that was in here was failing, and it needed to be replaced. If they can be replaced with something that's better for fish, you know, I'm for that. Now, for much of the flood, they can get up into the farmland, into the creek, and then when the flood water recedes, they can get back into the river where they want to be. I would love to see a lot more fish, too. If we can contribute in our farm on this little area here, I think it's one piece of the bigger puzzle. You know, we can't do anything without the landowners being a willing partner. Through cooperation with our diking district and through the conservation district and NRCS and through the county, all those different groups kind of came together to make this happen. If the farm can win and everybody else that contributed to this project, it's a win for pretty much everybody. We want to do what's right for the environment as well. We just need to keep moving in that direction until we get some of this solved.